This is a terrible demo. I'm just going to come right out here and say it because I legitimately don't know what they were going for. And just FYI, I haven't bothered to translate any of this because the subtitles just disappear too fast. The subtitles in these areas go by really, really quick, so I have no way to translate these. And then when it came around to doing the uh, combat translations, I didn't bother. I just decided to see if I could wing it. Turns out I could. Alright, I won't spend too long on the cutscenes, but there's just one thing I want to point out. It's pretty obvious, but I have to point it out anyway. Look at those fucking trees! Oh, I did not notice that my first time through. That's amazing! Look at them, they're so blocky! They're SNES level blocky, that's great! This is just a tutorial screen telling you what to do, how to control your stuff. I haven't bothered to translate any of this, and how everything works and all that. And away we go. I'll just tell you how all this works as we go. So, walk around using the left stick, look with the right stick. L button lets you use your potential, but I'm not entirely sure what this is about. I haven't played the original Valkyria Chronicles. I think this is mainly something like, uh, something with combos maybe? I'm not entirely sure. I haven't played the original Valkyria Chronicles. Oh, no, never mind. It's, um, AI controlled by the looks of things. I'm an idiot. So, I didn't actually translate any of the dialogues. I haven't bothered to translate any of this. Scrub is block. X is to run around. You can also use it to dodge. And the circle button will do your attack, and the triangle button will let you do a different kind of attack. You've got things like magic spells, guns, grenades, healing items, and you can also order around someone else that's not standing right next to you. You can use the D-pad to swap characters, and they've all got their own different equipment, spells, and stuff like that. Now, here's how this game works. It's an action RPG, but it is a lot like Valkyria Chronicles. Again, I haven't played the original Valkyria Chronicles. There are a couple of things that you can do. Like, if you use the R button, you can actually use that to crouch behind walls and stuff like that. Can't actually use it right now, because it's not in the middle of the... It's... We're not actually... We, yeah, now we're being shown that we can actually do it. That's kind of annoying, but there you go. So you can, you can take cover behind walls and stuff like that and use it for surprise attacks and stuff. You can also use it to hop things. Now, the way the attack system in this game works is that this is just telling you that if you attack an enemy from behind, they'll get stunned and you'll, they'll take more damage. I haven't bothered to translate any of this. And if you attack them from the front, they'll take less damage. You know, it's sort of stealth thing going on. Now, the way the attack system in this game works is that everybody's kind of on a, on a turn limit. What's the, what's the best way to describe it? It's like active time battle, where you've all got meters, and once your meter is full, you can set off an attack. And the attack can be anything from guns to, well, just basically anything, really. So I'm going to use this rocket launcher. Notably, if you use a special attack like that, time stops and you'll get the attack out. And you can basically spam them as much as you want. Especially if it's like an actual... Especially if it's a... Uh, a, a spell because you have an absolute ton of MP in this game and well you all know how it works in this game in these sorts of games folks the magic always defeats the gigantic robots covered in guns this is just teaching you how if you attack a monster's weak spot you'll knock it over and if you knock it over you can do some good amount of damage to it so yeah now that we've knocked it over we can attack an enemy completely off in the distance all right let's actually use a gun didn't really do much as far as I can tell, they don't really tell you much about more com about much about combat in this demo, and it's kind of unfortunate, really, because I haven't bothered to translate any of this. I mean, this is basically it. Like, they don't give you any sort of neat combat scenarios. They don't give you any sort of interesting abilities. Like, you can go into the menus, but they don't really do much. Um, you can do target lock using the touch screen, which is nice. I'm just trying to remember how to actually get to the menus themselves. I know Star gets into one. And this will give you an overview of all the items you've got, like armor and, and consumables and collectibles. And this is the options menu, but that's difficulty. Sound sliders. I believe this updates the rate at which the camera turns or the message speed, one or the other. Uh, these two are the camera inversions. This is probably the camera speed, and I don't know what this is, but considering that it's got those three characters there, I assume it's got something to do with the camera as well, so I'm not really too fussed about it. So as I was saying, this demo is kind of terrible because... It doesn't really give you the ability, it doesn't really let you see much of like the actual combat. It just, the combat just doesn't really feel that engaging. I guess that's not the idea. They are trying to go for a bit of a sort of Valkyria Chronicle spin-off things going on sort of thing. I, again, I haven't played the original Valkyria Chronicles, so I can't really 
tell you anything about that. But this game just feels like some weird strategy hybrid. And I know it's like that because it's trying to be a Valkyria Chronicles spinoff. But again, I haven't played the original Valkyria Chronicles. This is the last combat area before we get to the boss though. And this tells you about other combat problems where for some reason everybody in this area becomes deathly afraid of you and you literally just knock them all out in single shots. It's like you don't even have to try. Um, there is probably a reason for it. I haven't bothered to translate any of this. This demo is just horrid. It really is. It does not give you an idea of... Well, at least I hope it doesn't give you an idea of what the game's going to play like at all. I can go over and destroy them, but I can just order my friends to do it for me, which is kind of nice. Like, I can just do it like this. See? That would be kind of neat if it wasn't a massive pain in the ass to get to, because not only do you have to wait for ready to come up, you have to press triangle, go to the right, go to direct order, select the person you want to do something, select what you want them to do, and then tell them what to aim at. It's a massive amount of commands. So now I just need to get everybody in there attacking the head, because the head's the weakest part of it. So I can just order him to use this... Actually, is that? Yeah, that's a grenade. I'll make him throw the grenade at the head. I will do the same thing with her. She doesn't have any bazooka rounds left, because god damn it, she wastes them. I don't have any grenades left, because god damn it. Uh, order her to use her one grenade. I imagine these grenades are different and like... I was going to say environmental weaknesses, but that wouldn't make much sense, would it? I haven't bothered to translate any of this. I'll shift to someone else. I'll shift to someone else and show off their attacks instead. I think this is actually a heal spell or a improvement spell or something like that. This is an attack spell, I believe. There we go. I may also just improved that legs attack, which may be problematic. Maybe if I was allowed to play more of the game and see just how all these mechanics played into each other for more interesting tactical stuff, maybe I'd be more into it, but... I'll go back to just beating the shit out of him again. Oh, this is, um... I imagine this is a, yeah, defense up, I guess. This is a combination, like, block parry, I think? Or, or it's just a time thing. That too. Is this meant to be one chapter of the full game? Because if it is, I am going to be mighty disappointed. I gotta tell you that much. I mean, this is meant to be the prologue. But yeah, the cutscenes just continue like this. And there's like five of them that happen in completely different places. So it is kind of hard to follow what's going on if you can't read Japanese. As if that much wasn't already obvious.